everyone, my name is Caroline, and today I would like to share some MCAT study tips with you, particularly how to take practice tests and how to utilize the official AAMC study materials. Please excuse this microphone, um, as my phone microphone is currently broken, so I'm using this. And if I'm looking down over here, it's because I'm referencing my notes. <laughs> This is part two of my MCAT video series. Click here to watch part one where I discuss the MCAT resources that I use to study and score in the 99th percentile after six weeks of studying. I'll also link the video down below in the description. But before we begin, here are some quick facts for you. How many practice tests did I take? I took a total of eight practice tests. Four from Blueprint, formerly known as Next Step, and then four of the official AAMC practice tests. What was my schedule like? I did about one and a half weeks of content review and then I realized that I actually learned better by doing practice questions. So for the next four and a half weeks I focused on doing practice tests, doing practice questions, and then also flashcards. Of course, during this time I was also doing some content review, but my main focus was trying to do as many questions as I could. How many hours did I study for the MCAT in total? Probably a little over 300 hours. 300 hours is the recommended baseline number of hours by a variety of sources uh, that you should probably aim to study in order to score average or above average on the MCAT. And most people will space those 300 hours of studying during the span of three months. Just for me, I was able to do it within six weeks. Actually, I had I had to do it in six weeks, um, but that that's that's another story. <laughs> what books did I use? Uh, I didn't really use the book sets that I purchased. I actually relied on um, UWorld, AK Lectures, Anki, Reddit. Khan Academy, and the internet. Now, as I mentioned, I took eight practice tests. I recommend taking at least three before your actual test date so that you're able to get a sense of how the MCAT is structured and then also to get a sense of how you personally will be able to perform during a seven and a half hour long exam. The MCAT is a serious marathon, so it's really good to get some practice test experience under your belt so that you're definitely ready for when you take the actual test on test day. So which practice test to take? The official AAMC practice tests are considered gold standard in regards to how similar they are to the real MCAT, like types of questions, difficulty of questions, and scoring. I mean, the practice tests are made by the same creators of the real test, so they're going to be your best reference as to what to expect on test day. As of May 2020, there are five official AAMC practice tests available, ranging from $25 to $35 for 365-day access to those practice tests. I would recommend starting to take AAMC practice tests about four to six weeks out from your test date. So for example, I tested on January 24th and took my first AAMC full length on December 29th. If you have more time and would like to take more practice tests, then the next set of practice tests I would recommend are from Blueprint, formerly known as Next Step. Third party practice tests uh, vary in how much they deviate from the real MCAT. Although Blueprint is considered to be closest to the real thing amongst the third party vendors. Personally, I found Blueprint tests to be a lot harder than the real MCAT. And also with these third party practice tests, one thing to note is that they're known for score deflation. So for example, my first Blueprint test that I took, and also the first practice test that I took, I scored a 506 on. Uh, come to think of it, out of all the blue, the four blueprint tests that I took, I averaged uh, a 507 on those, whereas with the AAMC practice full lengths, I averaged a 513. 
Now, as of May 2020, a four practice test bundle from Blueprint cost $99 for, I believe, a six month access. Now, perhaps an alternative to using third party tests would be to use UWorld to build your own exam. However, the downside to that is that you wouldn't be able to score um, your DIY exam. If you want to learn more about UWorld, I talk about it in my part one video, which you can find the link to down below in the description. Also, a point of clarification, the AMC materials should always be used to study with LAST. So if you want to use third-party practice tests and AAMC, then I recommend doing the third-party practice test first and then moving on to AAMC material. And that's because you want the AAMC material freshest in your mind since it is the most like what you'll be seeing on test day. Speaking of AAMC material, in addition to the practice test, AAMC also offers an official guide to the MCAT, official MCAT flashcards, question packs, and section bank. Out of these four things, I would recommend getting the section bank, which has 300 chemphys, biobiochem, and psych -soch questions to do, and the CARS Q pack, I recommend that as well. Again, the purpose of using the AAMC material is to condition yourself to real MCAT style questions and content made by the creators of the test. And the CARS Q pack is really great if you're struggling with CARS. After doing the CARS Q pack, that's where I saw the greatest improvement with my CARS score. So say you're a month out from your test date. You should aim to do one AAMC full length every five to seven days. And then after doing that practice test, you should be reviewing each and every question. For every question, understand why you did or did not choose the correct answer. For me, I created a Google sheet where I checked my performance across six different categories. Section, question number, my thought process, slash how I approach the question, why correct answer is correct, or why wrong answer is wrong, strategy for next time, and then error type. I will link a template down below for you to use in your uh, test review process. So after every practice test I took, I would take a break and then immediately get to reviewing my practice test while the test experience was still fresh in my mind. Now this review process at first took like three to four days to complete, but after I took more and more practice tests and did a lot more studying, I was able to get down, get this review process down to be finished in about two or so days. Now. The reason why reviewing your test is so important is because by reviewing your test taking process and seeing what sort of questions you're getting wrong, you're able to then gradually refine your strategy and therefore improve your MCAT scores. In between tests, I would recommend doing even more questions. Hopefully four weeks out you've already done a lot of UWorld, so now you can transition to those AAMC section bank questions and the CARS Q pack. Continue to actively review your answers, brush up on gaps in knowledge, and keep doing those Anki cards four weeks out from your test date. Also, four weeks out, you should start to solidify your test taking strategies as well as your test day routine, which I will be talking about in my next video. That's about it for today. Thank you for watching, good luck studying, and stay tuned. I will see you in my next video.